headed to uh, another Indian mound. Uh, it's called Pargo Indian Mound out here in Monroe, Louisiana. And there it is right here. I'm about to make a U-turn and come back around. It's like right in the neighborhood. This is a neighborhood. They have a whole neighborhood around the Indian Mound. But I noticed uh, every, almost every Indian Mound I'll go to, they were very, uh, very aware of what they were doing. Uh, there were no slow leaks with these people, uh, with, our, with our people, with our people. There were no slow leaks. The thing is, when they had the East Indian Mounds, it was always by water. I'm right by like a, um, a body of water, like a little river. So what we're going to do is uh, go up to this Indian Mound and do some libations. See, this is a, this is a neighborhood, and the neighborhood <laughs> is surrounding an Indian Mound, a Native American Mound. So... Uh, these are Aboriginal people, the, the original people. So whatever that means, not not nothing like uh, oh the red man. No, it's just melanated people. Right, right past this way, down that way is where the water is. So we probably might just go out to the water and see it, and then I'll go up to the Indian Mountain itself. So, all right. Uh, so when you get your signs, you always pay attention to the signs. I don't know if you can see it, but I see a, uh, a cardinal just flew in front of me. And it's flying across this uh, neighborhood just now. But you, you probably couldn't see. I couldn't zoom in that fast. It would have just threw everything off. But it was two cardinals that landed right here. And one went this way. And one flew off. Because a lot of sounds. Was going. I'm going to show you. I'm going to take you to where the water is. See how they got these people living on this Indian mound? But see, that's the thing. One thing I notice when I do these libations in certain places, certain things start happening to people that live in these these neighborhoods. I remember a few years ago, like in 2016, 2015, uh, I was sitting uh, sitting somewhere. It's this portal I have so, a certain place. I don't want nobody trying to disturb, disturb it. So I'm not going to say where it's at. So uh, I got a couple portals in, you know, in the U.S., but uh, one of them, uh, the one of the portals I have, it uh, when I was one day I was sitting there, I decided to sit in between it, and I was just doing a lot of thinking. And when I was doing a lot of thinking right there, I was doing a lot of uh, meditating right there too. I was meditating, and so like when I got up, it was like I was sitting there for about like I didn't realize how long I was sitting there. It was about like what almost 20, 30 minutes, well 15, 20 minutes. When once I once I uh, finished uh, meditating there. I got up, my um, my uh, my my wife, she was like, at the time, she, my, my, my wife, my ex-wife, she was like saying, uh, she said, you okay, what you, what you, what's up? I was outside meditating, she said, I said, yeah, I just, I just left through a portal, and she looked at me like, what, this is before I really got into stuff, you know, like how I am now, and she was like, what? I said, yeah, you're gonna see some shit, and so the next day, a train uh, went off the tracks, uh, and it was, <laughs> and that was the craziest shit. It was the craziest shit. Like the next, the very next day, like a mile, like a few miles away, maybe like four or five miles away, a train just jumped off the tracks and like threw everything off. And the very next day, I showed her. I said, "Remember, I told you some shit about to happen." And then the very next day, that's when it happened. But yeah. <laughs> So when you do libations in certain places, you can cause shit to happen. Like where I'm at, that uh, right now, um, you know, they was talking about Hurricane Barry, uh, whatever. It was in uh, New Orleans, but the thing is, it came to meet me where I, was, I went to where I'm at right now. It came to meet me, and so it didn't. It didn't just. I I, I was in the middle of the energy, so when I came and uh, landed in the city, that's when the hurricane was going over me. And so I noticed when I'm coming through this city now, it's a lot of down trees and uh, branches everywhere. So that's how, you know, energy catches up with you or that's your energy in the first place. <laughs> oh, a turtle just jumped in. So if he hears shit or, or feels shit around, it was, you know, but anyway, whatever. But here's the, 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 the water that the uh, energy from that bird is. When you see, feel energy flying over like that. The thing is, this is where the, 
uh, Aboriginal people, or what they call like like they call native, uh, or that primitive means prime. So people are like, oh, I'm savage. I'm savage. I'm doing this. I'm doing this person dirty. I'm doing this person whatever. I'm I'm just. I have no feelings. Whatever. Nah, we we not savages. We primitive. Primitive means prime. Like um um. You, I want y'all to give you an example of like the uh, the Transformers. Optimus Prime, optimal primal, primordial, like the first beings. You're not, you're not a savage. Savage is like a, like a. Uh, I would go with uh, the the light, the, the pale Asians. They might because they see anything walking, like rats or dogs. They anything moving around, they kill it and they feed it to y'all in these Chinese restaurants. Y'all, y'all wouldn't know what it was, but a lot of this shit is fake anyway. But still, you don't feed nobody the motherfucking shit that nobody knows what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's some old. That's some. That's some real savage shit. You know what I'm saying? You feed somebody some some dog or some or some shit or some rat and they don't know what it is. And you just give it to them and you tell them it's something else that's bullshit so our people we're not uh we're not uh uh savages we're i'd rather be primitive or primordial that just shows you're the first or the first being or or you have a higher thinking because all you're doing is surviving surviving not off of treating uh doing some some old wild shit i mean surviving off of doing anything what it takes to uh to get the job done which is almost the same thing but it's just uh words have uh have meanings to them and they have uh, like when they have feelings to them so when you say i'm a i'm a savage you know what i'm saying you're thinking like your mind is like you have no, you have no way of of uh of balancing yourself pretty much when you're primordial you, you pretty much have a way of balancing yourself but at the same time you're surviving so i'd rather be called prime uh primitive primordial you know what i'm saying so or prime so i'd rather i'd rather that way Damn near the same thing, but a different frame of mind. All right, so I'm just showing you where the water was, cause that's what I noticed. Look, all these people are set up. They're set up off of this Indian mound, so they damn near took <laughs> took the land, these big ass houses out here, and actually uh, made it their own. They got boats and shit out here. <clears throat> See, this is actually a beach, damn near like a sandy area. Wind is starting to pick up. <laughs> that time, migrate their aqua. They see they go another. Uh, they go another one right there. Another cardinal just flew across. Uh, migrate their aqua. Uh, Oshun. Uh, it was really raining hard when I got into it, so they just, they just pushed through. The, I said, "Hey, just push through. The, I'm gonna push through this water and get here." So that was the outsides of the, uh, the hurricane trying to get here. But it, it was less than by the time I got here. All right, I'm gonna pause it and uh, take you up to the mound. Okay. Well, we're walking back up. We're going, going back up the hill. So I'm considering this would be like a part of the mound where it was cut off because they made uh, the mound a part of where people's houses are. So it's a flat land leading up uh, to the mound. Shit, it's gonna be pretty hard getting up there with these shoes. Like, I should have really thought about this shit. <laughs> shit uh, I don't think there's any stairs to get up there either. Shit. I'm gonna get it to the top of that mother slope. Somehow, somehow I'm gonna get up there. It ain't <laughs> you don't have to get to the top, but there's just something in my mind that's telling me just to get up there. So when it's in your mind, that means the answers is telling you, nigga, it's a reason for you to get up there. Right, I'm gonna figure this shit out. Even if I fall on this motherfucker, <laughs> I'll figure it out somehow. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm about to go walk it sideways instead of going straight up. Sideways, you get more friction on your feet. Oh, I can feel the, I can feel the resistance on the ground. Big steps, big steps. Whew. I don't want to fall on this motherfucker. 
So it wasn't that bad. <sighs> it wasn't that bad. Alright. And this is what it will look like. See? Energy fields. Birds flying around. They, they, they like happy that I made it up here. Ma made it to this area. <sighs> there goes another one. They're happy that I made it up here. I came back to where I was supposed to be back to. This is actually a, a, a area where my family is actually not too far from where they were. There goes another one. This is actually an area in Louisiana that my family was not too, uh, was from actually. Not, not the exact area. Not the exact exact area, but maybe like a few miles away from where they're from. And uh, I got another spot to go to after this one, but it's almost like a, 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 home, a homecoming for me, pretty much. Never been in this spot ever in my life, but I'm going to do my libations. I got my, my weaponry here with me, so we're going to get down to business. So I remember when Brother Bobby was, Brother, Brother Bobby Hemming was like, uh, <clears throat> I remember when Brother Bobby was like, "Well, when you do your uh, your uh, your ritual to uh, to Thunder Dog, have one thing that's uh, Native American or Aboriginal to the area, you know, Native American or Aboriginal, and one thing of Africa, African, and you put it together on that on that uh, on that uh, on that altar." And uh, when you put when you put it together, have it. Uh, okay, I'm not giving away all the details of it. You got to find it in a lecture, you know. You know. Uh, so what you do is you put one thing of Africa and one thing of uh, of, uh, of U.S. Native American, uh, sim symbolistically or symbolically, and you put it on the altar. And there's a certain colors you use uh, to put it together, and you write down what you want. From the uh, from Thunderdog, it was, it's actually an altar for Thunderdog, and um, you know I actually did it. And once I saw the lecture, when I saw it, I was like, okay. When I, I did it myself, and what I wrote down, it's not what, <laughs> what I don't think anybody probably got from it or did uh, ask for. And look at it, and the clouds are starting. To, when you get dark clouds, it's a good thing, because this this is the. Uh, I'm gonna get back to my story, but when you see dark clouds. Uh, that means a good thing. Um, it's because this, this sun is the imaginary sun or a reflection of the sun. So, uh, and the serious serious star is the actual um, the actual uh, sun sunlight, but it's the sun behind the sun, and that's the real light you see in this imaginary land. But anyway, I did it, and I had asked for asked to end this third dimensional plane instead of asking for money or asking for a job or asking for a big house or a car that I might want. What I asked for is to end this third dimensional plane, and ever since I did that shit, man, shit been falling in the line in place. How I've been how how I asked for it. And how when I asked for that shit for uh, to end this third dimensional plane, I wrote, that's all. If I had the paper to show you, that's what I had wrote. I had, I didn't ask for anything else. All I asked was for to end this third dimensional plane, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm ending this motherfucker. Well, I brought something with me that I had put together that I always haven't had with me anyway. But this is one of my staffs, and this is one I had bought years ago uh, from 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 Africa. I ordered this, and I didn't know it was gonna be coming from the continent, but it's from. Uh, it's from Kenya, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, uh, from Kenya, somewhere, in, or some, I think, or somewhere in West Africa. But and this is the thinker, you know. And he has a hat, or not a hat, but it's it's almost some some way he's sitting. It's almost like it's like the uh, how you see a a, a sultan or a so-called pharaoh would be sitting on his throne. But he's he's a thinker. So and that's crazy. And then when I saw it, I said, "Let me get that one." And I wanted that one. I didn't want all the, the other ones. I just wanted the thinker, and that's what that's what I ended up doing. Being being the um, the finder, wanted to find all the information and knowledge I wanted to find. But as you got some of Africa and they got my feathers, I found uh, when I was up up north in uh, Wisconsin, put it all together. But on the other side, I don't just have it one sided. I have it. Uh, with yoga, well, yoga, Yoda on it, which is sim symbolically sim uh, means uh, best. And they say if you put it upside down, put a Yoda's face upside down, 
you get the baphomet, and the baphomet means melanin. And uh, on this side, you got Africa upside down. That's how it really should be instead of right side up because everything is opposite. So it, it actually kind of fell in line. So I, brought, I wanted to bring this up here with me uh, just uh, symbolically while I do my libations. And to keep it real, <laughs> I'm way out here in this neighborhood, and I got to take a shit, but I'm still going to do that. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I'm going to still do this libation. Once I finish, I'm going to find some way to get, <laughs> get rid of this shit. <laughs> But uh, I'm gonna spit. I, I don't have any alcohol. I'm gonna spit. You can spit your water. If you don't got no water, you can you can you can uh, you can just just uh, go off with the names. I'm gonna spit my uh, my water north, south, east, and west, and get it rolling. Uh, it's about to be a powerful situation about to happen. But uh, hey, peace. Just showing you can go to these places. Just oh man, look at this. You can't see it, but I'm gonna zoom in as far as I fucking can. It's a cardinal sitting right there looking at me. And that driveway is right there, right there, but it's in the shade, you can't see it, but it just took off. But yeah, it's just showing you everything outside of yourself is yourself. All right, so let me get started. Peace.